Doug, it certainly is. It's been more than 530 days since the Huntington Theater Company has put on a show in front of a live audience because of COVID. They're making a conscious decision to start the season with a 90 minute comedy, no intermission to make people feel comfortable about returning to the theater. Theater is meant to be sort of shared as an in-person experience, so not having that has lost some of the magic. But after 17 months in the dark, live professional indoor theater is back in Boston with the Huntington Theater Company's production of Hurricane Diane at the Calderwood Pavilion. The theater's never gone dark this long, so I think a lot of us are, I'm just happy to be working and back on the stage. Actor Chris Sidbury saw her livelihood disappear during the pandemic, having to get a job at Whole Foods and rely on whatever television and commercial gigs she could get. I booked a commercial in 2019 that because of the pandemic, they couldn't refilm another one. So that re-upped and that saved me. The worst thing that happened to us uh, in the last 17 months is that we had to furlough about 60% of our staff. And while some staff members never came back, most have, because theater isn't just a job, it's a passion. And now a team of more than 100 are working around the clock, putting the final touches on the show, making sure opening night is a magical, inspiring, and safe return to live theater. Requiring vaccines for all of our audience members. We're requiring vaccination for all of our staff, all of our artists, um, and we do wear masks throughout the building. It's equally exciting, and it's a thrill to kind of reimagine and reinvent and reopen the Huntington for our audience. Now, Hurricane Diane runs until September 26th. Another major change because of COVID is that for any reason, if you're unable to attend a performance, the Huntington will email you an online recording of the show. In the South End, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.